public keys that are published as digital certificates are stored in the CA. They're actually submitted to and validated through the CA. And at that point, the CA handles the generation and distribution of the keys. So the certificate authority handles a lot of the little details that we would have to handle if we did it all ourselves. When you apply for a digital certificate, you have to provide some proof to show that you are who you say you are. Once you have satisfied the certificate authority that you are who you say you are, then they will accept your certificate and they will, in turn, validate that, yes, this person is who they say they are. The trust in the certificate authority provides the assurance that whoever presents the keys are who they actually say they are. So it's the certificate authority that pulls the whole structure together and allows us to easily distribute keys and manage those keys. All we have to do is tell the CA, I want to create a new digital certificate. We also tell them how to distribute, when to distribute if necessary, and we can tell them when a certificate has been revoked. But everything goes to the CA, and as long as the general public trusts that certificate authority, then we have a web of trust or an environment of trust where we don't have to establish one-to-one -one connections every time.